A minority sect of Muslims in the UK claim they've become victims of an aggressive hate campaign. The Ahmadiyya community, which has nearly 30,000 followers in the country, say they're being persecuted by people who don't believe they're real Muslims. A Canadian doctor gunned down in Pakistan last week was laid to rest today in Vaughan. He was on a humanitarian mission at the hospital that he helped to start. Ron Charles highlights his accomplishments and how his family is remembering him. The U.S. and Canadian flags draped the coffin of the Pakistan-born doctor gunned down in his homeland last week. They are a reflection of Dr. Mehdi Ali Kamar's complicated life and shocking death. Kamar fled to Canada in the 1980s like a lot of members of the Ahmadiyya faith, a Muslim sect violently persecuted in Pakistan. It was at the start of a three-week humanitarian visit to that hospital that Kamar was gunned down by two men on motorcycles in front of his wife and young son. Constitutional amendment in Pakistan effectively excommunicates Ahmadi Muslims from Islam. Adherents say that emboldens extremists to attack them. Clear the community is facing hostility from some Muslims. There are calls for their businesses to be boycotted, and certain mosques are preaching against our Mahdi's. The preacher in this internet video doesn't call for any violence, but tells Muslims not to associate with the community. In a nearby shop window, we found this poster denouncing our Mahdi's, claiming they are traitors to the Muslim faith. The group behind the material say they've been distributing it widely. Unfortunately, hundreds of Ahmadis have been killed in Pakistan over the last few years. In Pakistan today, the tranquility of Friday prayers was shattered by gunfire and explosions. Militants wearing suicide vests stormed two mosques in the city of Lahore. For two hours, battles raged between gunmen and security forces after the mosques, which belonged to a minority sect, were so violently assaulted. It's been a week since attacks on mosques belonging to Pakistan's minority Amridiya sect killed at least 97 people. This community knew it was under threat in Pakistan. But to have dozens of its men and boys gunned down as they prayed was far beyond the worst fears of most here. A first look inside at what, just a week ago, was a bloody scene of murder and violence. Signs of the mayhem are everywhere. This community has faced persecution for many years. None more violent, though, than the brutal murder of 97 worshippers during Friday prayer in twin coordinated attacks last week. In hospital, we met one of the survivors, Rashid. He was hit by three bullets and witnessed the killing of a young boy who just wanted to give his father some water. And the son was uh, offering him water, and while he was drinking water, these two people came in and they shot him point blank. I can't forget that. It was very, very... I, was, I thought they would spare them, but they did not spare them. One of the guards who died was an ex-soldier. Anwar was 42 years old with four children. Inside the mosques, it seems that no one was spared. Former Pakistani army colonel Manowar Ahmed is in charge of security for this Ahmadi mosque. He says years of persecution led to these attacks. We are not allowed to say prayers. We are not allowed to say mosque. We are not allowed to even name ourselves like Muslims. We are not allowed to say anything regarding any religion. Our mouths are closed. As far as the law is concerned, if I tell somebody that uh, uh, this is our mosque, I can be prosecuted. Children were among those who were shot dead at close range. Some said they were proud of the killers. Others handed out sweets to celebrate. Tonight, outside, there are shoes that will never be reclaimed. And many here are wondering who the militants will come for next. 7th of July 2014. Ahmadi Muslims in Kachipump in Gujranwala were attacked by local extremists in a sectarian attack. During the attack, three Ahmadi Muslims, including a seven-year-old girl and her eight-month-old baby sister, were martyred. In truth, this was an entirely unprovoked assault on all forms of human decency which led to the death of three people, including two very young children. This attack took place as the local police stood by and watched and took no action. It is yet another example of how the authorities in Pakistan are aiding the persecution of Ahmadi Muslims. Let it be clear that we Ahmadi Muslims will never undertake any worldly protest 
and nor will we ever take to the streets. Our response to all of the sustained persecution that we face is, and will always remain, to bow down before Allah the Almighty and to seek His help and mercy.